Hey everyone, welcome to Steepcast episode 31. I'm Nick, that's Mitch, and we're gonna try and get this one done quick because there's a hurricane knocking at my door. The real snow submissions have officially closed and we are working on judging those videos. We don't have any concrete dates for you yet, we're hoping to get both videos out by the end of August, but we'll let you know in the Discord when that's going to happen because Nick decided to take a vacation in the middle of the month. Hey, you know what I always say, YouTube always comes last. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, moving over to Check My Steez news, congratulations to the winners of Check My Steez 12. I know we didn't mention you last week, so here it goes. Congrats to It's The Mort, Flair, and P-Dub247. This week, today is the last day to submit for Check My Steez 13 over in the Alaska Massif on Denali. If you need more information for those runs, you better get to it pretty quick. Submissions end tonight at midnight Pacific time. Uh, you can go over to the Discord page, the Check My Steez Discord page, or the Steep subreddit to check out further details on CMS 13. Good luck to everyone who submits. Oh, I guess it's time for the Reddit Roundup! We're kicking it off this week with a hole-in-one in Alaska from the legend Mekish. So let's see what he brings. Coming in Switch, too. Ooh, all red outfit. I love that Swiss outfit, yeah. Ooh. Going over the rocks. Oh, huge airtime, huge pull. Oh, and he landed on one of the rocks and then <laughs> spins out of it. It's some control. I've seen, I've seen a ton of posts this week of hole in ones where people are just nicking one of those rocks on the descent. And I don't know if I can count that as a hole in one. Like, yeah, you made it through, but you see someone like Cholex get up there and he never touches rock. He only touches snow. So, uh, well, I guess we'll count it. If we're golfing, it, the ball never came to a stop. It hit off of the cart path, not what you're aiming at, but then ended up in the hole. So. It counts. It works for golf. It works for steep. We also got Jeppy Time finishing off a gold medal run on Jumpy Jack, one of the backpack free rides. Ooh, big trick. Huge rotation. Yeah, tons of speed. Another one looks like someone else is racing him down to the bottom too, but he's ahead of that gold medal. And. Yeah, I'm I'm Colax. This is not your video. Oh God, there goes Jeppy. Oh, he got so lucky on that. Hit his head off of the uh, head off the fence, and that's what spun him back. He was almost gonna go wide there to the left. The amount of times that I've wiped out and tried to do that, where I hit one of the stanchions right next to the finish line and dink my way over the line, I couldn't count them. But I know for sure that I have never been successful in it. I always just hit it and wrap myself around one of those little posts. Yeah. I was like right before the stop and then you lose your record. Yeah. So I don't know if that was skill or a happy accident, but congrats, Jeppy Time. Gold medal, well deserved. Now I got a picture for you from It's Me oh. Kaseb on Mount Blanc. That's my favorite part to start in the game. That's one of my favorite snowboards in the game. The original steep snowboards, like the stock boards in the game that are that, you know, classic wood grain, they don't get enough respect. They don't get enough love. I absolutely adore those natural boards. And then we oh, also got... Wonderful job. He posted another picture, which looks like it's also on top of Mount Blank. That one's gorgeous as well. That was just a little... Really cool. A side alert. That's a nice flare. I didn't know you could get those. Anyways, oh, here's a, act now. another close call from Trump's Stepsis, and he's wearing what a name. It's the Mort's helmet, the polar bear. But, ooh. Oh, and then a big drop. Oh, that's huge. Man, I still wish we had keyframes to make that a smooth transition. Yeah. Oh, it would have been just 20 times better, but that was incredible. Gorgeous. And then this is from the flabs seeing if anyone can top three close calls in 30 seconds but three was a question mark so we'll see if we count three i watched this one I'm earlier though so already he does our favorite trick with that open backy disgusting through the arches down the little gully 
And then I believe he right here, right? Ooh, started that one oh. early too. Oh, no lip backflip. Come on over the rocks. Come on. Oh, what Down. more can you ask for? That was, uh, I counted two. Well, I counted two backflips. There was probably a third close call, but. I counted two, but I, th yeah, there's one right there. I know I saw this earlier in the week and I was trying to find three and I might have missed it. Maybe that rock. It might have been one of the rock features, yeah. Oh, they, he, or is it after this jump on the rocks below? It could be that. Let's see. Maybe, yeah, with that backflip. No, no. I wanted to watch. Where is it? Right. Oh, opened it up. Oh, you messed up now, I though. I messed up. Don't worry, we got this. <laughs> we, got, we got the... Look at that tip drag. Oh. That's I I have no idea how he was able to get enough air to land a backflip on that he lip. Barely popped off too. I know. Ugh, this is unreal. I want to know the amount of time that took to planning this run, or if this is just a happy accident. If it's just a happy accident, there's I a pull drag too. I think. A little pull submersion. Oh. Well. Gorgeous stuff on the Reddit this week. We go through the top five every week and Nick's favorite, the Reddit Roundup. So you might see your stuff there next week. Yeah. All right. Let's head to the main topic. Well, welcome to the main topic. This is going to be our first time going through the steep fail submissions, and we're going to do it a lot more. And it started from the O oh Steep segment. But just before I hit record on this, I got a phone call from Giant Eagle, the local supermarket, that the taquitos that I bought last week may contain hard plastics and are being recalled. Um, have you stuffed every single one of those taquitos into your food door yet? Surprisingly not, I haven't opened them, but I don't know, do I throw them out? <laughs> uh, yeah, I think those are, yeah. I think you put those outside for the raccoons. I guess. I'll, I'll put them outside. I can get a refund if I take my receipt to the store, but I feel like that's too much work. But anyways, we'll move on. Go to get your money. Go get some more taquitos. <laughs> that's true. I'll, I'll return anyway, them. Anyway, that segues, that segues perfectly into today's main topic, which is steep fails. And Giant Eagle had a pretty big fail. <laughs> we got this one. This was from Lucas, you said, I believe. Yes, this Lucas one's... with a U and a C. And this is a real life kind of steep fail, so... Oof. He got the 180 that he was going for, lost his ski, and then he... What did he do, like a 360 out? Got 180, maybe a 180 out. Looked impressive. <laughs> Some ballerina that is, for him. It, it looks impressive because that is a patented Mitch move. Lose one <laughs> ski and try to finish it on the other. Oh yeah, he almost stuck it with that boot. You can see, didn't get the tip up enough. That's what'll do it. Yeah, it's all about it's all about the calf, those calf raises, man. You got to get those toes up. Pops it up. Could have almost stuck the landing, but we got the but thumbs up at the up end. At the, look up at the background. Oh. I've never skied anywhere that looks like that. I mean, I would rather wipe out and make an ass of myself with that kind of background versus like Seven Springs where it's just trees and, not, and gray sky. Yeah. And it's gorgeous. Beautiful. And then we got, we'll go with this backslide. I don't remember who this one was from. This one was from Paper Clay. There we go. Thank Pretty you. Pretty early on in the Steep Fails uh, server. <laughs> <laughs> Going for the what was he trying to do? <laughs> I don't know. I think he got caught buttering or caught an edge. <laughs> like, if he had oh stuck that, that landing. Oh my god, the laziest rail. Yeah. Just decided to take a nap, roll backwards. Oh, Almost completed it. It was so close. And then continues. That's a steep part, so. Continuing to roll. Oh. Incredible fail. A fail with style. <laughs> What was it, Toy Story? It's it's falling with style. That sounds right. They weren't they weren't flying. And they got this one. Now we have, yeah. That was Manfred Gordon, I believe. I added the music in the background. It might be too quiet, but 
it was set to the uh just song leave pop us. off yeah oh 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 <laughs> it's exactly like lucas only works <laughs> i think a lot worse when you oh. watch it at full speed <laughs> just jeez oh man you know if he had to i mean pop off indeed if he had have included that in Knucklehuck submissions, I would almost give it creativity points. <laughs> <laughs> the worst was that he took a header for the entirety of the landing hill. Oh, yeah. Like, if you replay it, if we watch one more time, he just supermans that mother until the very end where I assume his neck meets his tailbone. I think he lands... Can we go frame by frame on this? I think he lands on his... uh. On his, he flips at the very end. He gets back to his feet. Saves that neck. Lucky, lucky. It's just the spine that was fractured in 13 different spots. So close. Much better than the neck. And then this and one. And finally, we have one from you. Mm -hmm. This was Check My Steve's 5, I think. Maybe later on. Yeah, this was Feel So Good, wasn't it? No, this was before that. It was like... I named it something into the woods or whatever oh, okay. the song was, but I was going for this Lincoln loop trick, digging my head in the snow. Which and is then... the smoothest thing in the world, but <laughs> who's that? <laughs> <laughs> who's that behind you? I think it was <laughs> Bean that he commented, but he was kind of following me. I think this is the run I took too, if I'm if I'm remembering right, because I got some good submersion with the head. And then the yeah. pole right after, but you see his ski fall down, and then you just see him like spiraling in air in slow motion because he <laughs> ate it off the rock. Mitch's dude is looking cool as a cucumber, pulls off the most technical, most beautiful trick that he ever could, and then all of a sudden you just ah! <laughs> from on top of the rock. I need to re edit. Coming in out of nowhere. Just, Oop! I need to re edit that one with like a <laughs> distant screaming in the background. Oh my god, that is classic. That's why you and I don't record our runs together anymore. Exactly. <laughs> because it was you it was you doing beautiful things every single run and then just me absolutely eating snow any chance I could get ruining every recording that you had. Sounds about right. Oh man. I got Yeah, you need a you need a screenshot of him like starfish. Oh yeah, it's coming up here. Here it comes. Here it comes. There it is. That right there. <laughs> and that's steep that's in a perfect. nutshell. Oh my god. So yeah, like like I said up at the top, um, we are awaiting hurricane storms to come through. So sorry, I think that's all that we have for the main topic this week, right? Yeah, that's about it. But we got a quite a few yeah. weekly challenges to go through, so we'll move on to that. Alright. Yeah, let's get to there. All right, so starting off the weekly challenge, this week we had Heat Wave. So it was all of your toastiest pictures up on the mountains. We're starting off this week with four coming from Steepest Legend. This one, he's, uh, or she, I should say, looks like taking a nice nap on one of the cots outside that's covered in snow, but sunbathing at the same time. It, you gotta keep both sides even. You can't neglect the back. <laughs> Well, there's going to be some wicked tan lines with those uh, snowboard boots and that backpack <laughs> and those big gloves See, on there. One but... more... That's one more reason why we shouldn't be required to wear a backpack on the mountain. It's screwing up all of our tan lines. You're right. What else do we have? We got... Maybe. Wrong window. There we go. I've got a nice tail grab from him. That's a killer That's helmet. another nice one. I love those skeleton gloves. And the helmet, it's like a skeleton mask, or uh, studded helmet, mohawk. Like yeah, the, uh, like a steampunk biohazard. Super cool. Yeah, we got. I love all the warm color too. I love the the bright orange ambiance that he was using for those two. Is this uh, steepest legend still? Yep. Cool. We've got oh, Santa awesome. joining the party. See all the mountain. They're all watching the sun, the sunrise or sunset. Probably sunset with that. I don't know. I Christmas don't know. in July. Well, August. Close enough. 
it's still what like march <laughs> march 152nd or something if we're going by march so yeah it sounds about right it's still march and this was the fourth one another nice tail oh. grab by the looks of it and in japan too yeah this looks like it was captured on film like on a vintage film camera mm -hmm. that's incredible i love the use of the vignettes and the different uh sepia filters that you can use in game way to go steepest legend this. you nailed heat wave the dimensions look great this would be the perfect magazine front and back if you split it here this is the front cover title back page just perfect which is why we're excited to announce the Nick and Mitch magazine. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Get your subscription today. The link's down below. <laughs> and now we've got the next oh. two are from Lucas. Yeah, that's a nice wingsuit. How crispy clean is that? Oh my God. <gasps> that is some depth I've of field effect on that. I've never seen anyone use that this well. Oh my God, that looks like a 4K picture. Yeah, it's gorgeous. It might be a 4K picture. I mean, we're over here in PlayStation land. I, I don't know what 4K looks or feels like yet. So, oh, these are awesome. The the use of the blue and then the orange on the mm -hmm. other side. Oh, it looks like a battle between good and bad. And then you put the warm skis over on the cool side. Oh, ah! oh, I'm in love. <laughs> I think we're going to have to beautiful. stop doing it this way if you're going to freak out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, usually this was all behind the scenes. Oh, there is. Oh, and then another one just. Oh, did I? Oh. Did this you just one, Photoshop from... him out? No, this one was from Nicola. Okay, okay. And Makes then sense. These two are from Lucas, so this is with and without a friend, I believe. All right, so which one are you taking? I 100% like the friend in there. I like this one too. I like how both. Yeah. How did he do that? Uh, it has to be Photoshop. Those colors have to be boosted. Yeah. Did he just put another one of his? Is this just a Photoshop thing? I don't know his secrets. There's something hanky's going on here. <laughs> we'll get to the bottom of this. Nah, that's all right. Congrats, Lucas. It was fantastic, regardless of how you faked it. <laughs> and up next, I believe we have one from Kerr. Yep, that's, oh, yeah, that's man. a signature Come suit. On. Mm. Oh, I'm in love with all of these screenshots. Oh, I'm going to have to get the game on PC. I'm sorry. I can't get... I've never seen these before. <laughs> these yeah. are my genuine reactions. It hits different, man. PC's gorgeous. Oh, it, it really does. Like, I've never been able to take in the snow textures before. It's something else. Just taking a second to look at all of the different snow textures. Oh, world class. I'm missing out on like 80% of this game. Like I'm playing it, but I'm not experiencing it. God, I have to get a PC. I'll ship you mine once I eventually upgrade. I'll, Sounds uh, good. I'll, I'll mail it just in a box. No pat, no yeah. protection. Oh, good, good, good. Just rattle it around for a 200 mile trip. That's yep. perfect. Uh, thank you very much, Kerr. Lucas, Nicola, and Steepest Legend, I believe we have a grand finale that Mitch personally requested. Yeah, this one's from Flair, and I said 80s heat wave kind of style, so this nailed it perfectly, kind of like that Miami theme. Love the sun. Two CDs, so maybe this is the cover of a CD album. Yeah, this is absolutely just crispy clean like we said last time i would love to see more photoshop submissions uh, i mean you guys are just kicking the artwork up another notch whenever yeah. you put your own effort into it after the screenshots if steep ever added radio stations this would definitely be one of them oh yeah fly high 80s all yeah. day every day your favorite 80s tunes and then fly know. like we'll, an eagle we'll comes on, on. promo for that <laughs> yeah and then oh man well what was next yeah. week oh, do you have another one no that was it what was next week was oh. that collage yeah next week we are going to be looking for your best collage pictures so it's time to get over into photoshop get into some uh w what other programs are there could you do it in illustrator no let's just go with photoshop get over there into photoshop and put together your best collage in the game uh you can go back and check last week's episode we featured a couple of those there 
Uh, the week, the following week, you added Cold Wave. Yep. Would you like to explain Cold Wave? Yeah, someone suggested Cold Wave. Let me pull up the name real quick because I don't want to just leave you out. <laughs> Um, but I'm assuming that it is going to be the opposite of heat wave and it yes. is going to be enjoying the cold. Oh, yes. Yes. So basically steepest just legend in playing steep. So pick really cold like a snowstorm since we had heat wave this week and collage next week. So kind of chilly, cold, nice blue tones. Yeah. Yeah, that picture would be the girl in the bikini that was sunbathing on the lodge porch. It would be her just buried in snow. Yeah. That's that's your example for this week. <laughs> All right. Well, uh sorry. This is this is rough around the edges, but we're we're getting it done before my house gets swept away. We'll just roll into the Q&A. On the Q&A? <laughs> All right, we're going to kick off the questions this week with one from Lucas with two O's and a K. And he asked, if you could learn another instrument, what would it be? This is tough for me because I have learned, I've taken vocal training. I have taken drum lessons and trumpet lessons. I've pretty much learned everything that I want to learn. I, I guess if you can consider it an instrument, I would want to learn how to use one of the launch pads, like the DJ, you know, like you press the buttons and it like syncs up the different tunes. I count that as an instrument and that would be the next thing that I would want to learn. That's a good oh, one. I've also learned piano. There you go. I'm, I'm well-rounded, baby. I don't need any more instruments. Yeah, I, I've been collecting them because I'd probably say learn guitar because I'm teaching myself, but I could learn it a lot better. Other than that, I don't know. I'd probably everything. I'd try to play every instrument. So, trombone yeah, I mean, was fun when what, I tried to play it. Yeah, you you've done trombone. You play trumpet. trumpet. You play drums. You're learning guitar slash you know know how to play guitar. Keyboard. And you I also play. do some synth work. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we're we're well. I think we're fill I, I think we're full on new instruments i just want to get to the point where i can do a one-man band rock cover and then then i'll be done that's everyone's dream chris wan has one for us here he wants to know uh what kind of sim racing do we like uh you know uh, corsa i racing gran turismo sport or are we more like arcades like rec fest nfs or burnout I am definitely more arcade racing. I really want to play Wreckfest, and I haven't yet, but it just looks great with kind of the dirt track racing, the extreme wreckage like physics where everything crumples up and ruins your car. Every time the new like PlayStation comes out, I'm like, I want to get into sim racing, and I get Gran Turismo, play like two races, haven't unlocked an Aston Martin yet, and then give up. So I kind of like the arcade ones more. Yeah. Yeah, I've experienced that firsthand because in an unprecedented turn of events, Nick and Mitch disagree on something here. I love the real Sims, uh, primarily Dirt 2. I've been getting really into car racing, rally racing on the dirt, you know, using those slidey physics. I really like drifting. Um, and every time I download Dirt 2 or want to play it, I text Mitch and I'm like, hey, get your butt online. Let's go racing. And he just grumbles the entire time we're on because he wants he wants an arcade racer he doesn't like the real life sims although i think we can so both that's agree. one that we do keep separate we both love grand theft auto online racing nothing comes close to grand theft auto racing <laughs> all right let's go we got some more from chris wan our best idea to make money which is never going to work Um, start a YouTube channel. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I mean, we've made 50 cents from YouTube and we've been on for like six or seven years. It works. I like that. I'll stick with our, uh, perfect, po our poutine food truck answer. I mean, it, it goes along with this, with that question. Biggest fail. Wait, did you say poutine truck? Yeah. 
Don't when you? did we discuss? Oh, oh yeah. we discussed a poutine truck in 2016. We talked when about we it last both, year too. Um, oh yeah, it's every year. <laughs> it's just every year when the play when I've the got, NHL playoffs come around. I've got the new spin on it. I just came up with this one. All right, let's hear. Last it. year, I think our idea was to make it look like a zamboni and drive it to all the hockey rinks during tournaments. But now, right, the poutine food truck is going to be on a duck boat. So we can drive it on the river and serve everyone that's out boating on the weekend. We could have hot dogs too and burgers, and then we can just drive around the river grilling for people and then pull it up on land and drive around there. If you have never seen a duck boat that like Mitch is talking about, uh, go to Google Images and search D-U-K-W. That's how it's spelled. It is an old World War II amphibious military transport craft that used to transport supplies and used to have like 50 cows strapped to it every once in a while but uh these things are just refrigerators with little wagon wheels on it and it kind of just trucks along as slow as it can you know i every time i used to ride them when mitch was a tour guide on them i used to think we were we're gonna break down we're gonna sink the boat doesn't float 10 inches above the water we're going to take on water. We're going to be at the bottom of the Monongahela River, and they're never going to hear from us again. <laughs> so no to the, I like duck the boat idea. poutine truck. Oh, no, no, no. We'll I get, think it's a great idea. We'll get an updated one. We just need great insurance. We'll get an updated model. Like those little four-seater Jeeps. Just put a little grill on the back. <laughs> All right, we um, got... Another one from Chris... Uh, one more from Chris Wan, the biggest fail that turned into a win. Do you have anything on that? I don't know. I I think I think I would have to go with some of our GTA recreation videos that went viral. Like we made them. We we thought they were going to do well. Like we were proud of them. Looking back, they're not so great. But um, you know, we had some issues and we kept them in with the editing, but they went viral and we were featured on tons of websites for different content that we came up with that you know, at the time was great, but now looking back at it, it would be a fail considered today. They weren't perfect videos. Yeah, I, I guess I'll go with that as well. I'm kind of drawing a blank, but that one sounds good to me. I, I made Mitch angry. I insulted our old videos. <laughs> <laughs> only because I edited them all. You're going to be really angry. Yeah. <laughs> What's that? I said only because I edited them all. Yeah. Love you, buddy. Aw. And then he had some fast ones, too, so we'll just go real quick. You might not get some of them, but Dan Marino, pit football player. He had a hot dog after him at the hot dog shop. That's what I remember about him. I think it was the Marino dog. The Backyard Brawl, which is Pitt vs. WVU football. That's coming back, and that's dangerous for all the fans involved. So, Pitt and WVU hate each Both other. Both for their livers. <laughs> when we would do bus trips down to Virginia and stopped in West Virginia for gas, we all had to be wearing our Pitt band jackets. No one at the gas station would talk to us, not even the clerks. We'd hand them their stuff. They'd not say anything. They'd just take our money and give it to us. It's crazy anyways is mark pitt west virginia is pitt west virginia worse than pitt penn state because you are closer i'd say it's nastier i don't okay. know if it's bigger but it's nastier they threw Makes their fans sense. threw and that's scary i think they could be alive but the old marching band people said they used to throw batteries at the band bus so penn state's never attacked Jeez, us when we're there <laughs> Anyways, uh, Mark Andre yeah. Fleury. Love him. Love him. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Talk about Mark Andre Fleury for one second. Uh, my favorite player for the Penguins ever. Was the best. He made the best save in 2009. Nick's going to grab his jersey, I'm sure. Vegas Knights jersey? It's Yeah, it's the Vegas Knights jersey. You talk. We're never, we're never going to leave the guy alone. I mean, he's an icon. You know, there's a reason why he is considered. There's a reason why that trade was such a big deal, and that's because he is a legendary goalie. He is going to the Hall of Fame. I 
pretty darn sure that he's going to make it to the Hall of Fame. Oh, there's the bad <laughs> luck blues. Yep, there they are. Nice. We both yeah. love him. You can't abandon Flurry. There's no ill will against him. You know, he made the move. He wanted to raise his family out in the desert somewhere a little warmer than Pittsburgh. Sees a little more sun than Pittsburgh. I can't blame him. These are the quick ones, remember? Yeah, I know. <laughs> Iceberg. Cool. Cool. And <laughs> kills someone in sudden death the movie. He uh, is the most badass NHL mascot. The number 66. Le Magnifique. Heroic. Kurt Angle. Yeah, he's a WWE wrestler from Pittsburgh. Um, that explains it. I don't it. follow wrestling. One of my buddies that follows wrestling always says, you know, that's your boy, that's your boy. And I don't know why, but yeah, I guess it's because we're both from Pittsburgh. So... Kurt's cool, I guess. Sure. And <laughs> finally, who's the bigger fan of Schadenfreude? Which is... Uh, it's like the luck of Boston versus Toronto in the playoffs, where Toronto always loses in Game 7 to Boston, or the New York Mets lose every season, or some other examples. Yeah, uh, Schadenfreude is like superstition, right? I, th I think so. Well, let me look check. Or is it just like the occurrence, like an odd occurrence, like the Capitals can, you know, can never beat the Penguins in mm. the playoffs? Yeah, it's a pleasure derived from someone else's misfortune. So it is when the Penguins beat the Capitals in the playoffs. Mm -hmm. One hundred percent. Not so much Philly anymore. No, Philly's gone pretty peaceful, and you know, they're good. But just watching Washington crumble every year to the Penguins in heartbreaking ways for them is usually one of the best joys yeah i mean you can see it in the broadcasts too like after the games are over when we win a series especially if we win it in dc all of the pens fans gather on steps across the uh, across the road from the main entrance of the arena and they just chant let's go pens at all of the caps fans that are walking out of their arena in their city penguins fans love watching angry caps fans and i live in caps country so it is especially fun when you're down here that's all the questions we got for this oh, week I... um and that's all we have for this week so we'll have steep cast ready next week next wednesday you can submit weekly challenges your questions or just anything else you want to on our discord channel which is linked down below you're on twitter too at nicker mitch which we don't take too much from there anymore seems like most people use the discord but you can use it we'll respond nick will respond yeah um another thing let, let's gauge an interest here if you've made it this far in the video clearly you care about our content please post in discord or uh down below in the comments section would you like us to start an instagram page because I think between the two of us, we could start an Instagram page. And you don't see Steep Steep doing, getting all of his likes over on Twitter. You don't see just Steep It having a huge viral Twitter following. Everyone is over on Instagram. And I know if your feed is anything like mine, every other picture is someone from the Steep community. We need to jump on that train. So I, I think Instagram is coming soon. I already manage like eight Instagram accounts. Uh, for work and various other things. So, yeah, you know, what's what's a ninth, right? There you go. You can be in control of that one as well. Cool. I think you covered everything. Um, make sure you get your friends to subscribe. Make sure you get all of your steep maniacs, all of your steep friends over here to our channel. We're going to be coming out with some new material for a new game, Fall Guys, coming to Steam very soon and coming to PS Plus for the month of August. So if you're a PlayStation Plus subscriber, make sure you download that. We're gonna have a bunch of opportunities to get online and play with you guys and potentially be in some videos coming up. So stay tuned to the channel for more Fall Guys and of course, more steep news, stuff, everything, all steep. That's how we end it, all steep. Sounds good, I'll cut it right now. <laughs> Bye. See you on the slopes.